You just got your cool new pair of glasses and you want to know what happens next. Well, in today's video, I have seven great tips that every glasses wearer should know. So hi, I'm Robert, style and vision consultant at The Spectacle Factory, but I'm at home today. I've got a rare morning out of the office and I was looking through my eyewear collection when it occurred to me that pretty much every single pair is in perfect condition. And that's not by accident, that's because I follow a really strict routine with my eyewear that I'm gonna share with you today. So this video is going to be about the process after you've bought a new pair of glasses, but we have plenty of videos, trust me, on the subject of choosing new glasses. So if you need help and advice on that, definitely make sure to subscribe. But my first tip with your new pair of glasses is just to not panic. And I say that because a lot of the time when you get new eyewear, there is an adjustment period, both aesthetically in terms of you getting used to seeing yourself in this new style that completely changes how you look, but also in terms of your vision and your prescription, the average time it takes to adapt to a new prescription is 10 days. Your brain during that process forms new neural pathways. It literally relearns how to see through your new glasses. So it's very normal that when you first get a new pair, they don't feel perfect straight away. But with that out of the way, my second tip is to clean your glasses regularly. And this might seem obvious, but to clean them in the correct way is really crucial. So glasses wearers on average clean their glasses eight times per day. It's a big thing. And part of that is to do with the quality of coating that you have on your lenses. Some glasses coatings are far easier to keep clean because they have layers like anti-static, oleophobic, hydrophobic, but it's also to do with how you clean them as well. And a lot of people use detergents, for example, they use lens sprays, neither of which I recommend. Detergents because they can attack the coating on your lenses over time. And the spray, because whilst it often does work, although it depends on which one you use, that spray can't be quite directed exactly where you want it. And therefore some of the spray ends up around the lens rim and it causes a layer of grease to accumulate in those corners. I think a much better option are lens wipes, specifically Zeiss lens wipes. They are the best that I've used. Although other lens wipes obviously exist, but again, please be careful because certain chemicals in certain lens wipes might not be suitable for the coating on your lenses. But with one of these lens wipes, it's super simple to clean your glasses. You simply remove it and just rub around the lenses in a circular motion. Now I recommend to clean the lenses first and then to wipe down the temples. Whether you have a metal or an acetate frame, both of those materials will react with your skin over time. And cleaning off any excess oils and grease from your skin just reduces that process. It means that the acetate or the metal is going to last longer in better condition. Now, of course, you don't need to use one of these lens wipes all the time. Most of the time, you just need to use a cloth. A microfiber lens cloth is essential. And remember that they are rewashable as well. So many people just use the same cloth day in, day out and never clean it. Well, guess what? That's gonna accumulate dirt and then you're just wiping that dirt onto your glasses. So a microfiber cloth, wash it roughly every month or so and maybe warm water if there is kind of dust on the surface of your lens. And that's it, that's my cleaning routine. Now, if and when you do get a buildup of dirt around the lens rim, an ultrasonic cleaner is your best way to get rid of that because that will actually shake the dirt away from the glasses. The problem is that I don't recommend having one and using one yourself regularly because the harsh vibrations can potentially be a problem, but doing it every so often, like we recommend every six months, no worries with that at all. So with the cleaning routine out of the way, my third tip, is to keep your eye, pardon the pun, on the hinges. The hinge is always the weak point on your frames. It is the point that will either fail eventually if you have a spring hinge, or more likely will come undone if the screw manages to work its way out. Now, whether you've bought the cheapest pair of glasses or the most expensive pair of glasses, a screw is a screw. Well, I say that, some screws are higher quality than others, and that's one thing you pay for, but they're all gonna work their way loose over time. What you don't wanna be is in a position where that screw finally drops out, rendering your glasses useless at an inopportune time. And trust me, it will happen at the wrong time. Every so often, again, probably every month, just take a look at the hinge on your glasses, make sure the screw isn't protruding. If it is, you can get glasses repair kits and just tighten it up a little bit, or take a trip to your optician and ask them just to fasten that screw back in. Sounds simple, sounds like a little thing, it is a little thing, but that little thing could be the end of your glasses. And if it happens while you're driving, while you're away from home, that's gonna be a problem. Now tip number four, and this is really important if you wanna keep your glasses for a long time, is to avoid sharp changes in temperature. You see, modern spectacle lenses are mostly made of plastic nowadays. 
and plastic is a very soft material, so therefore it's easy to scratch. And because of that, there's actually a thin layer of glass, silicon dioxide, applied to the surface of most plastic lenses that provides the scratch resistance. But the downside of that is that because you have two different materials, they expand and contract at different rates. And if exposed to quick changes in temperature, that means that the lens and the coating will separate from one another. And that means you get a crazed coating, which basically means that it looks like there's like thousands of scratches on your lens surface. Doesn't mean you've scratched them thousands of times, just that the coating has started to separate. And it will mean that you can't see through your glasses anymore. That is probably the most common way that lenses get damaged. So it's a simple tip again, but it's really important. Now, speaking of preserving the life of your glasses, this is a big change of mentality for a lot of people, but it's really important to rotate your glasses. Of course, everyone who owns a pair of glasses, who relies on them, they should have a spare pair. You never know when you're going to break or lose your glasses and having a backup is just an essential. But if you make that backup into a pair that you're actually happy to wear, it really reduces the wear and tear on your main pair of glasses if you can sometimes go a few days wearing your other style. Or for example, if you have one pair that's more casual, one pair more formal, you can rotate it that way. And you can switch it up depending on the occasion, depending on the outfit that you're wearing. I really recommend having at least two pairs of glasses for that reason. It gives you a lot more versatility, it means you've got a backup, but most importantly, it means less usage of each pair, and therefore each pair is gonna last you a lot longer. That's one of the main reasons why I still have every pair of glasses I have ever owned, because I've never worn one pair exclusively. If you rotate them, you're able to build an eyewear wardrobe over time, where you have multiple styles, multiple looks doesn't mean you have to buy them at the same time. And that's the real change in mindset, the change in mentality that needs to happen. A lot of people think of the optician's visit every year, every two years. It doesn't need to be like that. You can buy your main pair of glasses and then maybe six months later, invest in your spare pair, but invest in them so that they are a cool pair that you're happy to wear alongside your main ones. Now, my sixth tip relates to glasses usage. And so many people do this. So many people put them face down, never do that, never do either of those things. I mean, number one, if you put your glasses on your head, I don't think it's a great look, but it also tends to stretch the frames, it makes them looser, means that when you wear them, they're less comfortable and they don't stay in place as well as they should. When you take your glasses on and off, two hands. Again, that reduces wear and tear on the frames, especially on the hinges, because if I take my glasses off with one hand, that's what happens. If I take my glasses off with two hands, the arms remain parallel, they're not gonna stretch as much over time. And I hope I don't need to explain why putting your glasses face down is a bad idea. And finally, tip number seven, wear your glasses. Something that I hear all the time is I'm scared of becoming dependent on them. A lot of people believe this urban myth that glasses make your eyes go worse. That is definitely not true. There's no evidence that glasses can make your eyes worse. They don't make your eyes better either but they do reduce symptoms like eye strain, tiredness. The muscles in our eyes are the most active in our body. And if they're fully supported throughout the day, you're gonna feel better in general, as well as being able to see everything you want to see to the best of your ability. One perspective I just can't get past is people who say, well, I don't need to wear glasses. So they might have a prescription that improves their vision, but because they can see without glasses, they don't feel they need them. The majority of people who wear glasses, myself included, can see pretty well without glasses. But I choose to wear them because they make everything clearer and sharper. There are people out there that choose to live life seeing things in less detail than they could simply because they feel that they don't need glasses. Well, technically you don't need shoes, but we tend to wear them because it makes life easier. Your glasses will do the same thing. So wear your glasses, wear them with pride, use them as a way to enhance your look because that is what they are nowadays, an accessory a reflection of your personality. Glasses can do lots of things for you and focus more on the positives than on the negatives. Wear your glasses, love them, and you'll be a happy person. So that's it. Those are my seven quick tips for new and old glasses wearers. Some of it might be obvious to you if you're an experienced wearer, but a lot of these points cover questions that I get asked all the time. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more of the best eyewear content on the internet. And if you have any questions about general glasses usage, please leave those in the comments below. This video obviously has been about the process after buying a new pair of glasses, but we have plenty of videos on the subject of choosing your new pair. So if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye bye.